Here are three different brands of peanut butter, each with their net weight, serving size, and price. We're going to write a program that finds the price per serving and price per 100 grams for each of these brands. Here's the program where each piece of data is represented by an individual variable. For each brand, we do the calculations and print the results. Here's what the program looks like when we run it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this code. The problem is in how we're thinking about the data. The weight, the serving size, and price really aren't totally separate variables the way they're written here. They belong together. What you'd like to do is collect these separate variables into a single data structure. The way you do that in C is to start with the struct keyword and then give a name for your data structure. We'll call it food so that it can be used for more than just peanut butter. And then, in braces, we list the things that are associated with each food. Every food has a weight. Every food has a serving size and a price. These components of the data structure are called the data structure members. Now, instead of needing nine separate variables, we need three variables that are struct food variables. One for brand one, one for brand two, and one for brand three. To initialize a data structure, you give the values for the members in the same order that they appear in the definition. Brand one was 454 grams weight with a 32 gram serving size and cost 499. Similarly, brand two was 440 grams, 32 gram serving size for 299 and our data for brand three. Since we no longer have nine separate variables, we have to change this code here. Now, instead of an independent variable, we use dot notation. Dot notation is best read from right to left. We want to access the price member belonging to the brand one variable. Or if you prefer reading left to right, we could say, the brand one variable contains a member called weight, which we want to access. And similarly, we change this all to dot notation. Let's make the same changes for the rest of the program. rebuild, and run again, and it still works. The advantage of a data structure is that it makes your programs more understandable by allowing you to keep related data together.